Welcome to the Memory Mixer Design Studio. Today's tutorial is talking about using our perpetual calendar templates. You're probably wondering, what is a perpetual calendar template? Well, it is a quick mix that will help you create and design your own perpetual calendar. A perpetual calendar is a calendar that is a reminder of important dates like birthdays, anniversaries, and is kept from year to year. First, I've created some samples, so let's go and you can see what a perpetual calendar looks like. Our first calendar is Fruitopia by Carolyn Kite, and you can see here there is your cover of your perpetual calendar, as well as in there is a page for every month, and they're all numbered, and then you just add the important dates along the line there. Okay, let's go to our next sample, and this one is Walking on Sunshine by Fayette from the Edson Company, and you can add these little embellishments in the corners um, to personalize it if you like. Our next sample here is Share the Moments by Danielle. And this one here is Celebrate from Designs by Krista. And you can make each page different or keep them all the same, whichever you prefer. Here's Summer Day by Albums to Remember. And this one I think is really, really pretty. It is Shabby Girl by Carolyn Kite, which is really um, it looks like a little baby quick mix or baby theme, but the papers in it are just beautiful. So even though the quick mix or the embellishments might give you the thought that it's a baby kit, the papers are so beautiful and the embellishments that you really can use them for any theme. Okay, so now let's go open the quick mix, the perpetual calendar template, and we'll show you how it's done. Okay, let's get started. The first thing you'll do is you want to choose um, your quick mix and it's here under Calendar Perpetual Templates. You'll click on that and just continue. And then you can name your album. Okay, this is the first page of the Perpetual Calendar and it's really your front and back covers. So we're going to come up here to our background, go into Paper, and I'm going to um, use the Designs by Krista Celebrate Paper Pack and I want this black paisley to be the cover, so I'm going to add it as an additional background. Now I am going to use it for the back cover as well, so I'm going to go ahead and copy and paste this. So I've selected it, I've copied, and now I've pasted another copy so I can use it for the front and back cover. Okay, these are photo boxes back here, and now I can just take my papers and drop them in. So I'm going to take my first section, and now I'll do the back cover. And this quick mix is designed so basically you can print and then cut the paper in half and it will just make a long narrow calendar. Okay, so now I have my backgrounds in. I think that looks great. This here is a shape that you can go and change the color as well as a mat on the shape so you can give it a little border. But we're going to wait and do that until we've picked some embellishments to use so we can tie the colors together from the interior pages to the cover. So we'll go ahead and click on page two. And now this is the inside um, page. We're going to go ahead and add backgrounds again. And I'm going to go ahead and use the same black paisley for one of them. So I'll add some additional background. And now I'm going to go and grab a coordinating paper in that same collection, and it's just the blue dot paper. And remember, don't say, okay, it's so tempting, but add as an additional background. And now that's dropped in. I can just drag it over this box, and it will s absorb that. And I can come to this one. And as soon as it turns yellow, then you can drop it and your paper will begin. Now I can also select this and come in here and zoom in on it if I want to see that pattern a little more because it's just a great paisley. And if I even want to position it, I can come into my crop window and now I can position it just how I want within that pattern as well. This one I think is okay so I'll just go ahead and leave it. And now let's go and look for some embellishments if I want to put something on the corner, or you can leave it as well. So we're going to add embellishments, and I'm going to go to the embellishment pack, so I'm going to use Designs by Krista, just so I know these all work together, but feel free to mix and match. And then here is the cake stand I want, and I will just 
double click it that'll put that on my page so I can use it and then I think I'll use that balloon again okay and here's the balloon so I'll double click that or you can press apply as well I'll go ahead and close my embellishment window and now I can just position and size these embellishments how I'd like You want to make sure you leave plenty of room to add your names as well. So don't make your embellishments too big. Just position how you want. And now you can come up here. This here is also a shape. So you just create a little border. We're going to come here and we're going to match the color. And I'm going to match it to this color here, but I want to find one of the darker shades. There we go. So I'll say OK. And now I can just do the same thing here, but this time I can just match this border and that way they'll be the same. There we go. So I've got my borders picked, or it might be cute on this one to actually do a black shape. And if you do that, you may want to change your um, text here to either make a color that sits on top, or um, you could even reposition this up, or you could move your February down. So whatever you want to do. Okay, so now we have our interior pages designed. We can come back to our front cover. I'm going to pick on my perpetual calendar um, shape and this goes through the front and back cover so it's only one image and I think on this one I'm just going to go ahead and leave it as a white shape but I want to change the mat or the border that goes around it to that um, seaside color that was on the other pages. So use our color picker, come up here and we'll come to the next page. I'm going to just come in here, maybe we'll grab this one from here, say OK. The width I think is fine, but you can adjust that as you want. And then there you've got your borders. Now we lost the date here, or the perpetual calendar title. The perpetual calendar title when we change this to white. I'm just going to come here, click on black, and now we've got our black. And so you can see how easy it is to just make your front and back cover printed. Now you may have to adjust when you go to trim, because all printers print a little differently but it should be a quick and easy project you can do at home. Thanks for stopping by the Memory Mixer Studio.